my mother made a big joke out of it because when I was till the time I got married, she would tell me take up a job. Get a job. And I was like, no, Mm-mm. I was not working. Okay, my mother was a banker and very good with numbers and quite career oriented those days. Take up a job. Okay, write this exam. Write that exam. I would say yes, and I would never turn up for the exam because I do. I didn't want to work. I was very clear. I didn't want uh, to be a working woman. I didn't want to be a working mother. That lady is Lavina Timaya. Today, Lavina ji is a soft skills trainer, English teacher, Airbnb host, embroidery artist, painter, architect, and a mother. But thirty years ago, she had to start. small then what happened i ended up doing this korean program we were teaching them english in english and it was hilarious really hilarious because they would say like you know they found our nods very funny and in india we do that you know okay all right so one day right on my face my student said teacher your head funny then for me to understand what was funny took a long time okay so i enjoyed and I built a beautiful rapport with them. They would come home. They would invite me for a lunch in their houses, and uh, I had taken them to Kurg for a wedding, my cousin's wedding, and they had a blast, you know. So I did that, which is very interesting for me. But what was more interesting is her taking the time to make people comfortable. I'd argue that yoga is all about tuning in to the subtle aspects of life. inviting grace and cultivating your personality in order to succeed you should do the little things that matter together we practice yoga we should be to sir medicine to the mind teachers and humans is beyond now going namaste one minute of silence being grateful digestion starts from the mouth there is also eco friendly everything has a story you want to listen I'm your host Vaishak. On this series, I'll take you on a yogic journey. We'll see that yoga is not just about asanas or pranayamas or meditation. Yoga is a way of life itself. I'll try to prove it to you through stories of ordinary people, just like you and me, going about their ordinary lives, doing extraordinary things, all through the practice and application of yoga. I'm starting with Srimati Lavina Timaya because she epitomizes what a householder yoga sadhak should be by paying attention to the small things we take for granted. But she wasn't always this subtle. In the early days, it was rough. I was doing soft skills, I was doing English, I was doing everything, but not going to a 9 to 5 job. I was all the time working. I would teach uh, this soft soft toys. You know the teddy bear thing. I would t- make that and take orders and make them, and then I would take classes for girls, school girls in summer. They would come home, all pretty little kids. They would come home and learn how to make soft toys from me. So I would all the time do something and earn my pocket money. But I never like wanted to go to a nine to five job. But I was earning. She was earning all right, all throughout her journey. Lavina ji would always keep herself busy but that isn't quite right she didn't seem the type of person who was caught up with life she wasn't frustrated or unhappy she was graceful something didn't add up that is until i saw some rather interesting things in her house yeah i think everything has a story here rashad right, everything has a story so that thing that handi whatever you call it yeah that is a copper vessel a huge copper vessel that you can see in the corner very big a baby can fit in actually and this was used uh, to store water obviously because in those days you know you had to draw water from the well store it you didn't have overhead tank this came from my grandmother's house like when i was born i was i'm the first child in my mother's side So after childbirth, when she came home, you know, with the baby, so my grandfather gave this yeah. because my mother was supposed to put her legs on that and have a bath and all of that ritual thing. The big ritual when you have, after childbirth, okay, one big process. Cooks, you know, we have elaborate things when a child is born, when someone is dead. 
it was lying in one corner in my mother's house. So I said, I'm taking it. So my grandfather's picture is not there in the house. So I have him there in, in, in that form, maybe. So I got it polished. So like that, and everything that you have here has some story to itself. So that is where I think I am connected to all my you know close people. So I have quite a few pieces. A few pieces came from my grandmother who I don't know. Brass items that you see on the corner. That is a very unique shaped uh, chambu we call, right? Pot. I don't like to hang pictures of my um, people who are not there anymore. And this is my way of remembering them. So every time I polish that uh, brass piece, I feel like I'm touching my grandmother. By reviving her grandparents' antiques, Lavina Ji adds something to them. Something that's missing in our world today. The human touch. Only me and uh, the one employee, one staff is there. So by that time, I used to wake up by 4 o'clock and I used to sit and write the notes up to 6 o'clock. Then I used to start working in the kitchen. So the only thing uh, we think so much, uh, what what is the best possible way to thank them? So this thank you note came up, then it started and it came up, that idea. That was Kavya Suman. Kavya ji runs a small food startup in Mysore, which aims to get sattvic food to your home. When you order from them, you sometimes get a little handwritten note. Just like Lavina ji with her handcrafted antiques, Kavya ji realizes the importance of the human touch. How does she do it? Tune in to the next episode to find out. We didn't have an architect. No architect for this house. Difficult to believe. Sitting in front of you. Okay. <laughs> so, I wanted a house. I want a house where every part will be visited at least once. I, I drew it on a paper. You will not believe I drew it, I put a sketch on the paper, roughly, and said, this is what my house is going to be. No, actually, I sat and drew, like, you know, this is the entrance, this will be your... And I loved that wooden pillar we have in the front. Then we can't get, get a building on that, right? So we went to an engineer. I sat with her. I said, madam, please make it to scale now. <laughs> this is a rough drawing. When you have space in your home, you can move around and see things clearly. Yoga does that to your body, your mind and your life. When you cultivate space in your life, you invite grace. I have checked my WhatsApp status. So that is the word I have there. I have just said grace. So and grace for me means the way you carry yourself. There should be grace in everything you do. The way you cook or eat or write or seeking the grace. Do anything for that matter. I, uh, yeah, there should be grace. And grace is what helps you notice the little things that matter. And when you do that, you see opportunity. We had a boys' hostel next doors. Okay, there was a boys' hostel, and these kids were all from uh, rural uh, places. Academically brilliant, very good. This, this and then we realized. All the kids, students in that uh, hostel, they all uh, are doing different courses, nursing, engineering, diploma, whatever. They come to that level and then they're stuck. So what happens? Um, confidence goes down, right? But this particular boy would not get placed, not get selected because he did not have the hold on language. His communication in English was not good. So one day Shavan comes to me and says, uh, Ma, Ma, please teach that Anna also. But Amma, uh, the Anna can't pay you fees because they come from that background. And then, of course, free. I would teach them free because I knew their background. For you to make a mark for yourself, get through the interviews, your soft skills matter a lot. And just like that, by gracefully doing what few people would have done, Lavina Ji realized the value of soft skills. Today, she is a soft skills trainer, coaching corporates and students around the country. How did she start? I ended up by chance. It's not like a strategy that I had and I planned. I wanted to be a freelance trainer. Nothing. It, it just happened. After you're done listening, you can find show notes, links and resources on our Instagram page, atha-yoga.podcast. That's 
ए टी एच ए योगा वायो जी ए डॉट पॉडकास्ट पीओ डी सी एस टी आई मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सॉफ्ट स्किल्स फॉर दोज हुर अनअवेयर personal attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people now soft skills is something uh, not technical like if you're doing a course or you know you're doing bcom so that becomes whatever you learn there is like book and application and all that soft skills is something which is very important for anybody to thrive in an environment where which was his pick say for example yoga now uh in yoga whatever you are taught the discipline the conditioning you you think right you are being mindful about everything you do maybe your posture maybe the way you talk or eat or sit and stand and wear clothes right so that also has an element of soft skills if you think deeper you are trying to be nice when you talk you are watching your words you're trying not to shout at people how much ever you're annoyed right so aren't you aren't you thinking and talking you think before you talk right so that is from within you need to you know attitude plays a very important role you need to work on your attitude so what we try and do is i i do variety of soft skill trainings around 40 different topics we i facilitate it could be written communication it could be assertive communication or etiquette etiquette has lot of variety uh i even teach dining etiquette so soft skills is something what i feel is what i am sure a lot of people who are uh, holding good jobs high profile jobs will also agree uh once you get into a profession anything what will decide how you are going to move forward how quickly you are going to move forward is not your technical skills because you're there because you have it you're hired because you have it it's like a i always give this analogy okay i say your marks card your report your grades your brand college uh the certificates all this is like a passport you have a passport so you are eligible to go anywhere but soft skills is like the visa getting stamped no visa no entry right so now you're here so what decides how far you'll go is your people skills and very uh, well you can connect it like you know with yoga also you're working from inside your tamasic sattvic all that also it's doing whatever is necessary from inside not outside so you may wear beautiful clothes you carry all brands but the moment you open your mouth i'll tell you what you are like yoga you need to internalize you need to understand like you said this asana does that this asana elevates this and all that you have a reason right so unless you internalize that you will not enjoy doing that asana you will not um continue with that asana and just do it once and say okay chalo nahi hota hai jaane do so soft skills is like that you need to be at it all the time if you are a starry i 23 year old about to enter your career listen up see you will look for a job depending on what you're capable of right you can't dream of something very far fetched if you're not if you if you know that you don't fit the bill correct so that is one thing everybody i feel should be very clear in their mind and what happened to that boy who she helped this boy is a professor in a, a top engineering college in mysore doing so well getting so much respect i was like wow so it's not that I did it but I think somewhere that awareness was instilled and of course it's all their hard work only If you're enjoying this episode so far make sure you hit the in fact don't like don't review subscribe or follow you're probably overwhelmed with life anyway instead what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to share this episode with someone you love and i don't mean just click on share and forget no really take the time to tell them what you liked about the show i would genuinely appreciate that one of the soft skills is your language skills listen to how lavina ji effortlessly juggles between different languages 
Let's play a game. Okay. So, you just gave me a glass of milk. Was that enough? <laughs> Tell me how you prepare milk. Hmm. So, something simple like I boil milk. In all of the languages, you know. Okay. Nan hal kudse bato sakre haki hal kote. That is Kannada. मैंने क्या किया दूध को उबाला उसमें शक्कर शुगर डाल के आपको दे दिया एक ग्लास में ठीक है राइट पीने मलयाल पर पालसल वे तड़पू पे पंचसार इत और ग्लास वे ना पड़े ना पाल पात्र वे यू नो कोडवा तक we are from kurg we speak this language called kodava okay uh, so na enta maade anchingi or channa paal eduthu adna chaayta bisi maade ronja adun sakkara eduthu nik tande for your korean audience no i just know i am a sayo yes vaishak i wanted to learn english i still have don't have any confident to speak in english I don't know, but sometimes I feel lack. That how can I connect the people? That was my friend, Jinal Dingwa. She is a yoga teacher who is looking to up her game by taking classes in English. And if you're a yoga teacher, you know that it's more than just being able to give instructions. Giving your students a great experience is about sharing your personality, the vibrations that you've cultivated. वे सीटली सी रास्किंग द क्वेश्चन सो जनरल आपको क्या करना चाहिए uh, अभी तो आप हिंदी इतनी अच्छे बोल रहे हैं है ना एंड माफ करना मेरे हिंदी ग्रामर मिस्टेक है तो uh, क्यों इतना अच्छे से बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि यू यू स्पीक दैट लैंग्वेज एवरी डे राइट सो आई वुड से बींग एन इंग्लिश टीचर बींग इन दिस फील्ड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम हैविंग टॉट इंग्लिश टू वेराइटी ऑफ ऑडियंस आई वुड से दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू कीप using the language the more you use it the better you get so we have an uh, application uh, i'm a teacher there as well we teach english there so you can try this uh, website or the app called englishbolo.com english bolo bolo is the hindi word dot .com and there you'll get a lot of practice you have self learning lessons you get a set of 10 teacher classes where you'll meet somebody like me uh giving you practice but listening to the way you speak general i honestly feel you're good you're quite good except for you know what we call uh, what you require is just a little bit of fine tuning <laughs> and that fine tuning will happen only if you talk catch hold of people just talk to them when you speak your family your friends they'll all join you in the race okay you you can see that happening believe me try Then you let Vaishak know whether it worked. He'll tell me. <laughs> no, that is how language works. You shouldn't be ashamed. You should just keep talking. Yeah, true. If you if you gone to the market, you know, Mysore market, we have these small kuti 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 shops selling perfumes and other th- things. Okay, and their uh, customer base. These are all the tourists, the foreign tourists. And you should just observe. It's it's a delight, Vaisha. I'll tell you, you go there once. And there's a small kids. The way they persuade the foreigners to buy their products in English is amazing. Who taught them? Nobody taught them. Okay. I I always say this in my English classes, uh, Vaisha. The language is not taught; it is caught. So Gina has to just talk. Just talk. Just like language is not taught but caught, yoga cannot be taught. Yoga is a calling. So, how did Lavina Ji's yogic journey start? It came to me as a through a friend. She would force me to learn yoga. She would come home, teach me yoga. She was a yoga teacher, a beautician, and all of things. So, from her, I got into yoga because of her. she would tell me like love you know your home do it do it do it because she knew i was one lazy bone i would go for my walk and then not go at all <laughs> so she coaxed me into yoga she introduced patanjali yoga to me so all the the shlokas the starting and all that she would make me do all that and i have only that like that lamp you see that 
a little lantern kind that will be on and it will be a very calm place you can sit and meditate very soothing very very the kind of work i do it needs a lot of energy how about a rapid fire favorite asan favorite asan surya namaskar i like the vajrasan also feel very nice but i can't sit for a long time so i sit in padmasan very comfortably i love sitting like that or the ardha siddhasan that's nice we always had meals on the dining table and i would sit like that vrikshasana vrikshasana and if i'm in the kitchen a lot of work in the kitchen right my one uh, soul will be on my knee the other knee and i'll be standing and doing my work that also is very relaxing notice that all of these asanas lavina ji picked strengthen her root chakra they make her more grounded one more reason why she is so graceful every episode i'll take one simple yogic technique that you can practice at home if there's one asana that you can start practicing that will immediately help you feel more relaxed more grounded help you meditate and also improve your posture would you like to hear it it is the sthita prarthanasana Stand up straight with your feet together. Chin parallel to the ground. Shoulders roll back. Join your hands in Namaste near your heart. Focus on a point in front of you and close your eyes. Notice how your body is swaying. Try to balance yourself. between your feet notice your breath does breathing slower and deeper help you balance or how about fast and shallow be with yourself and find that balance in this journey see how every cell of your body your mind and your energies are involved simply in helping you stand steady whenever you feel like it release your hands and feet rub your palms and cup your eyes Open your eyes in the darkness of your palms and slowly bring your palms down. This asana section was dedicated to my teacher Sri Ramendra sir. Thank you sir for letting me know that I'm on the right path. Today more than ever India's youth needs yoga and soft skills. Lavina ji has an idea. How much does it matter? I will say it matters a lot. Really matters a lot. It can make a lot of difference to how to to the outlook people have towards life. Forget the nation. Towards the the attitude towards life itself will be different if people know what it is. So then I was wondering, you know, in schools they have luckily the kids have yoga classes, they have computer awareness, they have everything now. so if there is a course to, to teach the kids at least in schools you know they should be taught how to breathe uh, how to be mindful i feel it has to be a part of everybody's growing up we talked about soft skills the human touch yoga and grace so how are all of these connected one thing if you want me to tell your uh, listeners i would say like yeah people matter really matter a lot be very mindful like you know uh, let's say every morning we have this people coming and collecting the garbage right i keep my dustbin neat because that guy puts his hand and cleans it and they are surprised when i say a thank you to them they say like early akka early akka means early in kannada it's like it's okay let it be So I always say a thank you to them. No, I feel these these small things are important. 
I would say like yeah we need to be grateful for a lot of things that we have grateful to a lot of people that have helped us or have been a very important part in our lives so people need attention is not attention but respect so being grateful is important the evening was coming to a close and just as the clock struck 5:30 pm lavina ji gets up turns on the lights and pulls the curtains and apart from all the other things the simple matter of self discipline or anushasanam is what yoga is all about and this yogic journey can begin at any moment even now atha yoga anushasanam music for the opening sequence and editing by my brother rithvik shri kumar this episode is dedicated to my friend zahabia in the bhagavad gita shri krishna says अनुद्वेग करम वाक्यम सत्यम प्रियहितम चयत स्वाध्यायाभ्यासनम चैव वांगमयम तप उच्यते सेइंग समथिंग गुड एंड यूजफुल इज एज गुड एज एनी तप और ऑस्टेरिटी थैंक यू सो मच जहाबिया फॉर लेटिंग मी नो दैट माय वॉइस वाज नॉट एज बैड एज आई थॉट इट वाज एंड फॉर एनकरेजिंग मी टू स्टार्ट अ पॉडकास्ट आई एम वैशाख थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग एंड एज ऑलवेज Everything happens at the right time and we are all here for a reason together let's find it out <laughs>